Gwendolyn Floyd loves when people ask where she gets her jewelry, because each piece comes with a story. Uh, the brass bangles are actually created out of brass that is collected from old door, basically hinges, old car parts, melted down, cleaned, and then recast into incredibly beautiful fashion for jewelry. These eco-friendly designs are the handiwork of African women, talented artists from the developing world who are turning local materials into intricate accessories, inspired by the colors of their continent. Floyd is a fan of their work, so she's helping to move these artisans out of Africa's emerging economy and into the global market. There are incredibly talented people working across Africa, making beautiful goods. Uh, we are really committed to helping rebrand them, not as poor craftspeople, but as very, very talented international designers. Soko is Floyd's brainchild. It's an e-commerce site that gives artistic women in the developing world a platform to sell goods with the mobile technology they already use each day. Artisans snap photos and buyers can browse, eliminating the middleman. We've developed really appropriate, accessible, usable apps that enable them to create and manage their online storefront. So if you as a consumer sees the online storefront that's been created you know, through this technology and you buy something, they immediately get an SMS that informs them that this product has been purchased. Here at New York City's Fashion Institute, Soko was featured alongside a number of other eco-friendly businesses. They got together to talk about how to creatively and sustainably move Africa forward. Made in Africa applies to all of the products featured, from traditional African shoes with a modern twist to bracelets made by African mothers. Every product has a story, and every company has a sustainable goal. We pride ourselves in creating work for people in the community where the factory is and that is essentially the ethos of um, the company is to create work. Hendrian Dewhurst employs her community to produce handmade bath and body products for her business, Rain Africa. She joined a panel at Made in Africa to explain why local is the way to go. The goal is to, to work people, with people that are like-minded um, as far as our passion for Africa is concerned and our passion for handmade and creating work. These companies want to prove that it's possible to run a self-sustaining business while keeping social and environmental principles at their core. Patrice Howard, CCTV, New York.